What up, y'all? It's your man Wayne Train back with another joint. And today, I just kind of want to touch on the performance side of this phone. So, I figured I'd split the coverage up a little bit with this phone since there's a lot to be, you know, talked about here. I don't want to just do a basic in and out review. There's a lot. This is a new design, there's a new everything, and there's a lot of just different aspects of this phone that need to be covered and covered a little bit in more detail, um, especially on my part, trying to get better at this stuff. But anyway, we're gonna talk a little bit about the performance since it is using a 710 processor. For me, that was one of the um, concerning things before buying this phone that I was uh, like wondering about. And we're gonna get to it. Let's get it. Now, if you don't know who I be, I go by the name Wayne Train. My real name is Dwayne Mims. You can search that up at the top. If you're trying to check for your boy, but uh, we do tech videos, tech talks, tech reviews. Um, I say tech reviews already. Tech reviews, tech unboxings, all that stuff. And if that's something that interests you, um, please consider subscribing to your man. But we got the Razer, the Motorola Razer here. Um, I did an unboxing already. I throw the little join up at the top if you want to go check that out um, but unboxing went well everything um, you know in terms of just the, the wow factor all that exists with this phone for me the nostalgia the, the uh, nostalgic feel and all that stuff I don't really want to get you know too um, deep into that because that's what kind of creates a biased view so Let's try to look at this from a different perspective. Um, and we're also gonna keep the price out of it. Um, just, just, let's just look at this phone for what it is. And then the price is important. Like, so, you know, bottom line, obviously, the price is too high. And for that money, I don't think there's any phone, I don't care what it does, that's gonna ever justify $1,500. So, with that being said, let's talk about the performance. 710 processor. Um, Adreno 610, I believe is what I said. Adreno 616 on the press on the GPU. Um, so, if you're like me, you were kind of wondering what the 700 series is about. Um, I think they a lot of people would categorize it as kind of a. It could be a flagship performer, but where it lacks is you know in the gaming and some other things. Just a beefed up, you know, 600 series processor, but not quite the 800. But what's good about this is that, like for me, I experienced some differences, like some visual differences from the 600 series to the 800 series. From the 700 series now, and that was like, I'm talking about like the 630 something, 630 or 636 compared to like the 845 and 835. You can tell the difference, like just from, you know, scrolling and just, you know, basic use, you were able to tell the difference. With this 710, I can't really tell the difference, and I'm talking about for like basic daily use, um, compared to like my 855, which is currently the, the best, I mean, I believe this phone's with 865 right now, I'm not sure, but they're coming, but currently for the masses, 855 is the best that you can get. And the 710 ain't really too far from that. I ain't got no Geekbench or whatever, no, uh, no kind of, uh, no none of those numbers to justify or back this. I'm going. I don't really like those numbers anyway. I'm going off of just my own use case for what what I use my phone for. You know, social media, Twitter. Um, see, it opens pretty nice and quick. Everything's fast. Um, not too much lag um, if there is you know just loading stuff like that but no different really than what I'm experiencing on my 855 so what will probably be a difference is gaming and I haven't really done much of that yet um, I could probably throw that in actually I will I'll throw that in on the review um, I just figured for me when it comes to gaming this isn't the phone that I would game with because of just the, the form factor. I got this this thing right here. Well, I mean, I guess it could 
kind of be like a nice little, a nice little, you know what, hold up. Let me go ahead and download the game real quick. I'll be right back. So I got the game downloaded in the background right now. We're just going to uh, talk some more about the performance. Like I said, it's just, it's pretty buttery smooth. This is 60 hertz, I believe, display. That's just pretty much basic. If it ain't advertised as 120 or 90 or anything like that, it's probably 60. So I'm not experiencing any differences there. Um, you know, even the performance, I mean, the performance on this, like this front display. Um, sometimes this could be a little weird, but I think that's more, like it's, it's still, it's a smooth little, scroll even through this display you know swipe gestures are pretty nice um if there was ever going to be any lag it would probably come from this front display but i haven't experienced too much of that either so for this form factor you know this thinness this is something that you pay for like look at that now if you don't like this you know the reason that's the reason why i wanted to kind of exclude the price because it is the price is straight up because of the phone itself. It's the Razer, it's a classic phone and it's a fashion statement. So like most fashionable things, you are gonna pay that extra premium. So $1,400, just like you buy, if you buy new, new shoes, you get the Yeezys, you get the Jays, you're paying 200 plus dollars for shoes. Yes, you can go to Walmart and get the same shoes that look like the the Jordans and the Yeezys, but they not the Jordans and the Yeezys. Like, that's just what it is. So that's what you're paying for when it comes to this phone. So we got Mortal Kombat here. We'll go ahead and uh, get it loaded up and you can kind of get a, actually. So I got a whole bunch of stuff I got installed anyway. So we'll get a little, um, a little preview here. So like, there you go. You can see the creases and stuff and the glare, but hold on, I'm gonna turn this light off. Maybe that's better. So, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna let y'all see this real time, get everything set up. Um, I got the, uh, the one, one button swipe gestures up here. I kinda like, I like their uh, implementation of it. So let's go ahead and play. So, I'm gonna see how this works because the reason why I didn't want to get no games in this phone is because of this obstruction right here. So maybe it might work good as like a little handle, you know? I think that loaded up pretty decent. It's not the full game yet. This is more of the introduction. Now there's a tutorial and all this stuff, so. Uh. Let's go. Right. I did kind of, I did see a little jump right there. A little bit right there too. I apologize if that glare from the crease is kind of messing up, but that's all. That's when we got to know. We got to see that. So let's see how we do this. Let's fight. You know, I. And this is. Okay, so that's that's all I'm gonna give you right there. Um, performance for me, I'm I'm not. Come on, I'm not really seeing that big a difference personally. Personally, I'm not. And I think the 710 is more than powerful. Not to mention it being a little bit more power efficient. Let me turn the light back on. It's a little bit more power efficient on that side. Uh, better battery life. 
Now, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna do battery in another video, but just a quick little tidbit of info with that. Once you like factor in the size and the battery capacity, it's 2,500 milliamp hour battery. It's gonna basically be probably average when it comes to the battery life. It's not gonna blow you away. Now, this 710 processor was in a, a more like a bigger phone with a bigger battery. You're gonna see some great, like some great things from it. But with this being such a thin phone, such a small phone with a small battery, I'm actually pretty happy with what the battery life is like coming out like. So um, we'll we'll get more into that into the next video. But you guys, let me know what you guys think about the Razer and the performance for the most part. If there's some other things you want to know, uh, hit me up in the comments and we'll talk about it. So uh, it's your man Wayne Train. I'm out.